All right, here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. 6'6", rookie, slam, beautiful. Out of sight. Well, he put that ball, he locked it in his wrist, went in, and then from the side, dunked it home, and then winked up into the crowd. Right, yeah, I'm going to give him a 10 on that. That was creative, and the man certainly showed his athleticism and style. The score from Michael Jordan Look at this. Wrap around, reach back, and slam it home. Hey, everyone. I'm Joe, 23 Dan. All right, so here we have a 1985 Air Jordan 1 that I picked up sometime February 2014. And this right here is the counterpart to it. You might notice that it does say Nike Dunk High LE, but this is a replacement box. So let me move over here just to show you guys what exactly this is. I had featured this in another video previously, and this is the 1985 Air Jordan 1 white and red color. So it is used and you do see creases as well as the outsole which is a bit dirty but over the years this shoe is officially 30 years old. It's in great condition. Check out the collars. Minimum cracking and in very good shape. A lot of these collars right here, they tend to crack. There is a bit of cracking, but overall, the black on there is is on there. <laughs> so it's held up great over the years. And this is the original box. So that's what you can see. The shoe originally dropped in uh, 1985, and it sold for retail value of uh, 65 bucks here it was on sale for 59 so back in 1985 you know you could have gotten the shoe at a discount <laughs> which is crazy so this mimics the uh, retro boxes that have released uh, the past couple years here's the inside of the box and yeah super old man Made in the Republic of Korea. Ooh, let's get the focus back in there. And bottom is the Wings logo with the Nike branding. Swoosh. It is a size 10. And check out the paper. Super old. All right. So boxes like this are hard to come by, guys. Um, I am looking for another box to replace this replacement box. So let me go ahead and show you what we have here. And this I picked up about uh, maybe two weeks ago. Bam. This is the 1985 Air Jordan 1 in the black and red colorway. Both are size 10. Both are in amazing condition. And again, it is used. And I got it for a great price. Actually, I got it a little bit cheaper than this, but still cheaper than what you can get for a Fragment 1 these days on resale. So, think about it, guys. When you guys are looking for, uh, you know, hype shoes, please think about originals or the retros. Because I really think that this is heat compared to a fragment one, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, both created in 1985. The designer was P Peter Moore. And uh, basically what happened here is that Michael Jordan was not going to be signing with Nike under any terms. He was, uh, he wore Converse in college and uh, he was an Adidas fan. Um, so he really wanted to sign with Adidas, but the story goes that Michael's mom and dad had dragged him out to Portland and, you know, just had him think about, you know, what the presentation was going to be like with the Air Jordans and or with Nike and, you know, what they were going to present. So uh, Rob Strasser is actually the individual that had signed Michael to Nike. And uh, David Falk um, at the time was Michael's agent. So they all went to this meeting and they met up with uh, Phil Knight and Peter Moore. 
and uh, basically just showed them, you know, the Air Jordan. And it's basically a uh, Nike Dunk, and uh, well, you know, with a Wings logo. And it was the first Nike Dunk to have been done in multiple colors. So you know, you here you have the white and the red and the black, and then here with the new pickup, it's black and red. So uh, when the shoe was presented to Michael, Michael looked at the shoe and was basically like, "I'm not wearing this because it represents devil's colors." So um, you know, <laughs> if if you were somebody back in the day and you you took a look at the shoe, um, I mean, it, it was the first of its kind. So. Um, there's a lot of rich history in this, and uh, there's a bigger story to this as well. So, um, you know, continuing on, um, there were uh, a few in, in, into the presentation. There was a there was a few categories that Michael had to accomplish. Um, if he didn't meet those accomplishments, those performance accomplishments were, you know, something like around. Uh, well, Michael had to make the All Star team within the first three years of his five it was a five-year deal so um, he had to yeah make the all-star team he had to score at least 20 points a game um, you know stuff like that there were different categories that he had to meet and if he didn't meet any of that he was able to opt out out of his out of the out of year three but Nike would still have to continue paying him in year four and year five and still continue on with the Air Jordan line so there was kinda of like this kickout clause that happened so and then we all know the story about uh, Tinker Hatfield and how he basically saved the Air Jordan line. So um, I would get into that in another video, but I just wanted to, you know, give you a brief rundown of what Nike had in store for Michael Jordan, um, as well as the pickup that I had here to show you today. So yeah, it's a it's a great shoe. Um, you know, in comparison to what I picked up last year. I just wanted to kind of note the uh, the toe box here. So, you know, they're both authentic shoes, of course, that's all I buy. And uh, the toe box here, uh, the black and red, it looks a little bit uh, rounded off as compared to the white and red. It's a little bit pointed, but um, uh, I, I'm assuming it's because the sneakers are made in different factories and at that time they were they were made in different factories. So. Uh, when you look on the inside, let's let's show you the white and the red. If I show you the inside here, you know you get the stamping there. It's a size 10. What that 10 is in there, uh, produced in 1985, made in between the months of uh, May and July, and then the factory name right there are the factory initials T H. So this was made in the T H factory. So here is the stamping on the inside of this. It's a size 10, made in 1985, produced in between the months of September and November. And then the factory code number is TY1. So from my experience and what I found out with those vac factories is that the colors on these, um, any anything that has a BY, a TH, or a TY1, those have great collars, so if you're looking for an OG, um, I highly recommend that you guys look out for those factory numbers. Just checking it out here, here's the Air Jordan logo. And yeah, as I close out the video, we're getting here at, at, at 10 minutes. I uh, just want to give you some close-up shots on my pickup. There's a little bit of um, you know wear over the years, and that's expected, but you know the leathers are great. It's a high-quality... Uh, full grain leather and yeah thanks for watching guys take care M Joe 23 Dan